Okay, hello everybody, and welcome back to The Godfather with me, Nihai Hobo. Um, last episode, we uh, completed the alley mission, so this is going to be the, the only time where you're going to see the previous mission's um, summary on the start of the new mission. So that's basically how I'm going to try and work it from now on. Um, so we're going to go ahead and uh, I need to look at some of the uh, graphics options and then we are going to um, crack straight on with a new mission. So, uh, oh, we've also got an upgrade to go with. I like the idea of health. It's no good fighting. Um, whoops. Upgrade that one. I think we only have one respect level outside of weapons yep um so there's that one and then we want to go to the options here and well, i wonder if we get away with um so this might cut the recording off if it does then uh um i am sorry and it will be a seamless link which will involve some swirling Okay, so insert swirly and uh, seamless transition. Nobody notices anything. On we go. So I don't know. Didn't seem to do a huge amount. It, was, it didn't actually save the point that we spent either. Um. So it didn't. Uh, yeah, it didn't seem to make a huge amount of difference. Albeit that I'm sure that those settings are that way. I see this game being a little bit of a problem child. Um, I, I thought that was always going to be the way. In fact, actually, one of the things I was thinking about is money. Um, is something. Um, I just need to turn the sensitivity down a little bit as well. See if it crashes again. Uh, Sorry, one of the things I was thinking about was if it's worth running this on my laptop, which is older. Didn't crash. Hey! Um, and therefore may be a little bit more... Oh, what's the word? Um, hospitable in its reception. So you will pick up missions via phone. So we're going to go ahead and answer this one. Luke is going to meet you outside. I wouldn't keep him waiting. Ooh, don't keep him waiting. <laughs> I don't know why I couldn't have just gone through the door to find that out, but... Okay. So, uh, training mission. Harassed by corrupt cops and the Taglatellis. I know that's a type of pasta, but that's what I'm going to call them. Uh, muscling in from Brooklyn. The, Cor the Corleones are fighting... The, the, the Colonics are fighting to keep control of Little Italy. Time to learn what makes the world go round. And this is Sergeant Galticino, corrupt cop leading Little Italy dry. Hey kid, let's take a walk. Yeah, you look like you need the exercise. Ah, it's less crowded now. I like that. Makes it easier for a man to get his business done. Go well, have a dump. I make good money, I help the family, I get a little action on the side. But one thing must be understood I would never go against the Godfather. <gasps> Don Corleone is a man I respect. All the Emilio. He doesn't seem to give a damn about paying us respect. He's giving his kickbacks to the Tatalians. Talk to the Tatalians. Needs to be taught a lesson. Don't you talk about it. We're having a lasagna for dinner tonight. Be very nice. It's resting in the kitchen as we speak. Right, so every time you, he has this um, Godfather symbol above him, that is when you need to talk to him. I want you to have a word with Emilio. Convince him to pay his dues to the Corleones. Think you know what to do? Sort of. How should I handle it? Yeah, it depends. With some guys, you only need to show a little respect. Just walk up to him and talk to him. <clears throat> a little negotiation goes a long way. Got it. And if the guy don't look like he's gonna crack? 
then you remind him why he needs protection in the first place. Try turning up the pressure, but don't go too far. A man pushed past his limits can be dangerous. Capiche? Okay, so this is pretty much the lifeblood of the the game and how you're going to make all of your money and so on and so forth. And it's basically racket control. So we're going to go into the shop in a second and extort... I can't remember the guy's name, but um, we can't kill him. We can't push him too hard. We have to just get it just right. And now this is where I much prefer these games to Grand Theft Auto. Despite the fact it is still based on heavy combat, driving, stealing, basically law-breaking. Um, this mechanic makes it a lot more appealing to me, personally. Uh, that and the customizable characters, and the fact that you can later on you'll take a gang round and upgradable characters. The whole thing feels, despite the fact it doesn't look as good as the Grand Theft Auto games, it feels like it plays better than the Grand Theft Auto games. Get out of my way before Excuse I knock me, you I'm out. Really Okay, so here you go. Some people have pressure meters that appear below their health bar. When the meter is filled past the green mark, that person fears you enough to do what you ask. Apply pressure by threatening or using violence. Now, I don't know if it's the same with this one, but certainly with Godfather 2, there are weak spots for people. So some people don't like physical abuse, some people don't like having their stuff broken, some people don't like being threatened by firearms or dangled over the edge of buildings, so on and so forth. Everyone has a weakness, and that gives you a bonus. But, like I say, it's been an incredibly long time since I played this, so let's find out. Oh, when the pressure meter turns red, you've pushed the person too far and you won't get anything from them. They'll f um, and you can expect them to fight back hard. Okay. So, we'll start by just talking here? to them. Luca Brasi said me. He has some business he wants to settle with you today. Why should I even give you a dime? Okay, so that's added some pressure. But let's go and smash his shop a little bit. So there you go, weak spot bonus, there you go, he doesn't like damage. The only problem is that we can't actually damage anything. <laughs> you can't just swing randomly, it's got to be... Because um... I don't want to hurt him, that's the other thing as well. Oh god almighty, what about a gun then? No, oh, we can threaten him with a gun. We won't be needing this. Yeah, we can take his money as well. Pig. You got a family. Think they'll miss you. So we'll just pop that away and we'll finish up by grabbing him. I don't want to hurt you more than I have to. Just gonna push him for about a thousand dollars. Another loop, and we'll extort him Listen now. To me. The Corleones run this name. If you're not paying them, you'll pay the consequences. I don't want no trouble with you. Take the money, give Luca Bratti my regard. Okay, you've extorted the merchant. The owner will now pay protection money to the Corleone family. Uh, each week you can keep him alive and his business intact. Weak spot bonus plus weekly income is $1,010. Some businesses are fronts for illegal activities or rackets. Excuse me. Once you've extorted a merchant, the door to the back room becomes unlocked. Keep your eyes open for doors leading to back rooms. Giggity. So. Uh, we may. Now sometimes you have safes in, uh, well in two you have safes in uh, the backs of, of businesses. Oops. Um, oh. oh shit! So I'm still getting used to the. Um, oh, that's nasty. Um, 
Still getting used to the control system. So, talk to the racket boss. Uh, first one you want to control his operation. If he respects you and a buyout is offered, it will guarantee maximum long-term profit. If not, you'll need to turn up the pressure to convince him. So again, much the same, but this time you can actually try and buy out these illegal rackets, gambling dens and speakeasies. I think we're talking about the era of prohibition as well, so alcohol um, is illegal. Uh, so they can constitute as a racket as well. Oh, God damn. Cool. Alright, so. What the? Uh, let's go and speak to him and see if he's just going, going to be reasonable. The Corleones are looking to share in the action. What's that worth to you? Sure. I had a good run. Best of luck to you. You've taken over a racket business. As it earns money, you will automatically get a cut of the profit. So that's now uh, $800 on top of the one, uh, $1,010. So we're now earning $1,810 a week. And we've got some business. And we've earned some respect. And people will start taking me cereal. And um, eventually, we will get... Oh, right, so in, an, in two you need a safe cracker. Apparently you don't need that here. Oh, and we went from level one to level three. Which is always useful. We got a dynamite out, so let's upgrade. I want some more health. Upgrade, upgrade, as Kurt J. Mack would say. And money's good and we're regenerating health really quickly and bribe the policeman hey this is my neighborhood you and your paisan must honor me okay okay i don't want no trouble i don't like cheapskates but i'll take what you've got maybe we'll see each other around sometime huh? is he hitting on me don't know if i like this uh homoerotic nature of uh, his suggestions here. A cop on your payroll helps get the heat off your back for a little while, at least for small crimes. The green bribe meter indicates how long the police will look the other way. Uh, we need to return to Luca Brazzi. Here he is. Insert Jeez, what took you so long? You get the money? Yeah. Hand it over. See? I told you this business was interesting, huh? I want you to meet up with a friend of mine, Paul Gatto. <coughs> Excuse me. Show him this. That way he'll know you're a friend of mine. I gotta go. Okay, so the Enforcer mission complete, so we've earned some respect, we've earned some additional money, and bonus film clip. So I'm going to go ahead and call that one there, and that's a bit of a short episode today, but, um, yeah, it sort of feels like a, a good organic getting off point. So I'd like to thank you very much for joining me. Um, if you're enjoying the series, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe to keep up. Uh, my name's Nihai Hobo, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.